Hi, everybody. Um, I know there's a couple people in the meeting already. Thank you guys for joining. I'm just going to give um, a couple extra minutes for some of the other attendees to join, and then we'll go ahead and get started. I'll probably give about three minutes or so, and then we'll start. All right, can you guys let me know if um, you can hear me okay? Justin? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, this is going to be recorded as well and you guys will all receive the email recording after the meeting. So for anyone who's joining late um, or if you have to jump off early, you'll receive the full recording. Um, so for today, um, our discussion, I'm going to start out by giving a brief overview about myself and Next Tech, and then I'll share a quick presentation demonstrating our solutions as well. And then I will leave some time for Q&A at the end. So you guys should all see a Q&A um, button of your screen if you have any questions throughout the call that you want me to answer um, after we wrap the presentation, feel free to drop that in there. Um, so with that, we'll go ahead and get it kicked off. So hi, everyone, and welcome to the Next Tech 3D webinar. Um, to start us off, I'll give an intro about myself. So my name is Maddie. I am the head of sales here at Next Tech, and I am going on, I think, my fourth month here. So still relatively new to the company. Um, but my previous experience has been in the retail space um, my entire career, both Goals and uh, most recently at Walmart Marketplace. So I have a few years of experience with e-commerce selling strategies um, and new content tools like a 3D model for selling on marketplaces. So that's a little bit about me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we can walk through the presentation and give you guys some uh, demo experience as well. But for your knowledge, um, Tech 3D, as some of you might know, we have a, a host of different solutions, both in the retail and event space. So um, with MapD, that is a separate entity of ours that's for interactive mapping. I won't be covering that today. This demo will strictly be about uh, 3D modeling and some of our new released photography solutions. So with that, I'm going to share my screen. Give me one second here. All right, can everyone see my screen okay? So to kick us off, I'm just gonna give a little bit of an intro to Next Tech 3D and what our 3D modeling capabilities are. Um, so Next Tech 3D, really our goal is to be the ticket to AR 3D innovation on e-commerce platform. So we really do lead the way in creating cutting edge AR and 3D solutions specifically for e-commerce and for marketplaces. Um, and we are a trusted solution as well. Uh, 
We are a certified Amazon 3D model supplier. We're listed on their SPN network as a service provider. We've created over 200,000 3D models to date, and we work with over 300 different clients as well. Some of our largest ones are listed there below for you to see. So overall, our mission is to empower e-commerce companies with innovative AR and 3D tools, um, specifically to enhance the customer experience and the online shopping experience, which in turn should ultimately reduce returns and increase sales as customers are kind of required to work through these immersive technology solutions to view their products. So um, why are companies like Amazon pushing for AR and 3D. Like I said, um, overall, AR and 3D have been proven to increase customer interaction and customer time spent on your product listing pages. Ultimately, um, 3D reduces returns and increases conversion. Um, and it has been boosting Google search rank as well. Google is also pushing for 3D modeling in um, the Google Shopping tab as well. So these are just some facts that we've seen from some of our own clients. Overall, um, the conversion and return statistics are pretty dramatic when it comes to 3D. On average, our clients are seeing a 2.5x improvement in conversion rates and then a 40% reduction in return rate on average. Um, and just to back that up, we actually have some stats that we received directly from Amazon on this. So Amazon is actually seeing something similar with um, their sellers seeing anywhere from a 1.5 to 3.5 times increase in conversion um, and over 95% customer satisfaction. So uh, people who are shopping on Amazon, 95% of them are saying, we like the 3D experience. We would want to see this on more listings or use it again. Now, to dive into next tech and what our solutions are within the 3D space. So, the first one is our Airtize 3D platform. Uh, this is more of an end to end solution, or what we refer to as being white glove. So, um, this converts 2D images to 3D models. Um, so, we can take your images and uh, your dimensions for your product and create 3D models out of that. Uh, this also, we provide direct integration to your website or to Amazon or any other marketplace. So your 3D models will be directly integrated and posted to your product listing pages um, without you having to lift a finger. With our portal, we also offer hosting. So um, we can host your 3D models for you for free for a year. On the portal, we also give you access to different analytics information, such as the number of views, uh, the top performing 3D models, et cetera. And then we also give you the downloadable 3D assets to use for marketing purposes or sharing with your clients, whatever that may be. Now, our other solution is Toggle 3D. Toggle is a more of a self-use platform um, that we can give licensing capability to. So if you have a large team of in-house 3D designers already, this would be a perfect solution for you. Um, Toggle is more geared to converting CAD files to 3D models. So if you already have CAD files, you can easily upload them into the Toggle platform, texture them yourself, and then convert them to 3D models. Um, we have a built-in texture library on Toggle already that you are free to use yourself, or you can use your own textures. And then within Toggle, uh, most recently, we've also launched photo studio. So you can actually capture um, photorealistic images from your 3D models. So either like plain white background, solid color background, or backgrounds with shadows. Um, and then something else that I'll cover a little bit later in some of the next slides is now we have the ability to do generative uh, lifestyle images. So this is not customer facing on the toggle platform yet. Um, that's something that our design team is working on, but I uh, can show you some of those examples that we've been doing for some of our clients already. So now just to go over um, some of our uh, more in-depth demos. The first one here is the Airtize 3D platform. So uh, 
I'm going to show you what this looks like from uh, a user experience. So when you open the portal, this is exactly what you'll see. So like I was talking about the analytics information, you'll get all of this here. So being able to see what devices models are being viewed on the most, uh, what categories are getting the most amount of views if you have different categories that have 3D models. Um, we provide you with a heat map to see where in the world people are viewing the models the most if you wanted to do more targeted marketing. And then, of course, just a list of your top performing models. Now, if we click into products here, this will pull up a list of all of the models that you have live with us. So everything that we are working on or you currently have posted, you can search by SKU number, the title of the project, uh, Etc. So for this one, um, this is actually an example from Create and Barrel. Search for uh, a collection that I know that we've done with them. So this is everything that falls into what I just typed in up there. I'm going to click on this mid-century sideboard here. Um, on the right hand side, you'll see the 3D model, but on the left hand side, you'll see um, some details about it. So the project or the product URL from Crate Barrel's page, and then the images that they provided us with. So these are all of the product images. They're just plain white background, maybe one or two live styles show it at different angles. And then on the right hand side here, this is the 3D model that we were able to generate just those 2D images. And we can do this from tab files as well. Um, if you don't have those, it's pretty simple for us to take 2D images and convert them to 3D models. Now, if we click model details here and click the product URL page, so this is an example of our integration. So this is the actual Crate and Barrel website. This is live. This is exactly what their customer is seeing. And if we scroll down here, um, these buttons that say see in your space or see in 3D, these are integrated directly. So these are just embedded into the website. Um, doesn't take the customer to another link or another page. It's still on the Crate and Barrel site. And their customer can then view the 3D model. Um, if you zoom in, the quality output is really high. We give about 4K resolution for the 3D models. Um, so they can see the texture of the product, change the lighting backgrounds. And then the other option that we have is see in your space. So um, you can even do this if you have a but we provide the customer with the QR code to scan, and then it will pull up the product in their space at scale. So they'll be able to see what this sideboard looks like in their kitchen or their living room. Um, it's true to scale as well. So that's a little bit about the um, Veritize 3D portal. The next platform that I wanted to share is our Topple 3D. So this one, like I said, is more geared towards self serve. And so if you have those and you want to test it on yourself, that is what you would use Toggle for. So Toggle has a couple of tools built into it, um, including our 3D Studio for, like I said, converting CAP to 3D. We have the Photo Studio for capturing photos from 3D models. And we also have the option to buy 3D models from our marketplace that you can then texture in Toggle. So for this example, I'm going to start a project and show you how to texture an existing 3D model. So here you would just upload your file um, directly to your computer from your device. We accept different uh, types here, and different sizes, depending on which plan you have. Uh, and then here, we'll just get this uploaded. So once the mesh file is uploaded, um, this is essentially just the skin of the product. So it has no texture applied. Uh, and then we can see, you can see a 3D model. And then on the left-hand side here, this is where all of the elements of the product are. So for this example, for chair, it has the different sides, the back, the cushion, and of course, the four there. Um, and you can multi-select different pieces of the model and then um, texture them all at once. So for this example, I'll show you guys how to do that with the leg. Here. So if you just hit control and then select all of those, uh, it will select all four. And then if we click the texture library here, these are all of the textures that we already have built into the Toggle 3D platform. So um, and you can choose from our list of textures here, or if you have your own, you're able to upload those as well. For this one, I'm just going to click wood um, for the legs of the chair here. And then you can see that 
was applied to all four of the legs. So we can go ahead and do the same thing for uh, the fabric parts of the chair, like the sides, uh, the back, the cushion. And then we'll just select all of those once more and click open library again. And then if we click all categories, this time I'll pick uh, instead of wood. And we'll just scroll and pick one of this list. And then you can see here the texture to the rest of the chair. So it's pretty simple. Toggle is meant to be very easy point and click. There you have it, you just uploaded a mesh file and textured and created a 3D model uh, in about two minutes. So the other option that we have within Toggle is this photography studio up here. So this allows you to actually capture product images from your 3D model. So you can pick which file type, um, what crop size you want, the resolution you want, and then the back. You can either choose a color, you can do white background, and then from that, you can either just keep it as solid background or pick what we call blended, which essentially just means that color, but with added shadow or studio. So for this example, I'll do blended. And then we also give you the option to choose different angles. So these are all from the 3D model. You can choose up to eight. You can choose just one. If you need just one, it's up to you. Uh, I'm gonna show you what all eight look like and I'll click export here. And then we'll view that in our toggle profile. So if you go into projects, it'll show you um, the project that's currently being downloaded. So that should be those blended images. So I did both. I did one with just white backgrounds and then also another one with the blended shadows, just so I can show you guys the difference here. And then I'll just rename them. So what I'm going to upload that to my personal device. Uh, we'll be able to tell the difference. So if I click these photos here, these are the final images. Um, so you guys can see this is the blended image. It has the shadow placed underneath the product. We can make it a little bit view the texture as well. In this example, if we make this bigger and zoom in, you can see the texture of the fabric here. So like I said, resolution is pretty high. Um, we shoot for 4K resolution for 3D model images as standard, but you can choose lower resolution if you need. I know I think Amazon only requires like the pixels or maybe 1500. Um, and then this here is what the white images look like. So that gives you um, an example of what toggle is and how toggle can be used. The only other thing that I wanted to show in terms of demo material today was the new feature that I had talked about, which is our 3D photo rendering capabilities. So this is really unique. Um, I think we're one of the only companies out there right now who are using generative AI to create um, realistic looking lifestyle images from 3D models. So because they're from 3D model, that really eliminates the need for you to ever do a physical product shoot, which is huge. We know that um, product shoots can be very time consuming, um, not very cost effective. So while uh, we're able to use the 3D model to create these images, we don't ever actually have to see the physical product, which should be a huge time. So I just wanted to share some of these examples. Um, like for example, in this image, the, the washing machine here, this was the 3D model. Everything else in the background is completely AI. -generated. So nothing in this photo really is a physical product, which is, is pretty neat. Um, same thing here, the model here is the rug, the camera obviously, uh, and this one is the, the photos on the, the wall in the background. The ring is the 3D model here, and then the, uh, the crossbow in this example. So this is something that we've started offering um, as part of a package deal. So you're able to actually purchase packages that give you 3D model and a certain amount of photos per model. So essentially our goal is to give you all of the content that you need for any listing, whether it's on Amazon, marketplace, or on your own website, we can do that for you in one cohesive package. 
Um, I won't share too much of this. I have a couple of videos here that I can share out after this, but um, we do have several different case studies and success stories I'd be happy to share for anyone who's interested. Obviously, the biggest one is Amazon. We work directly with them. We've created over 100,000 3D products for them certified provider. Um, and we do have direct integration with Amazon Central as well, which allows us to um, upload the 3D model to your listings incredibly fast and get 100% full rates because we work currently with them. The other one is a Wyvern creation. So that's actually that crossbow image that I just showed you in the last slide. Um, we've created over 50 models for that. We have direct website integration. Um, we have a whole customer testimonial video that I won't share it today, but would be happy to share and actually view that website as well. So um, that's all I really have for the demo portion of the call. The uh, steps for getting started after this call, or if you wanted to book a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me, are pretty simple. Um, so typically what we do is we can talk about doing a trial with either one of our packages or a POC. Um, with that, we can provide, or you can provide us with feedback. We'll give you a final quote for your project. And then we like to always do a kickoff call with your team to make sure everyone's on the same page with the information that we need from you. Um, and then what will follow after the 3D model is created, um, such as you going into the portal, approving the model, and then us following up with integrating that to your website or to whatever place you're setting up. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen here. Um, the only other thing, and again, I mentioned this in email when I uh, share this information with you guys after the call, but something that we are offering right now is a free, a free 3D model if you guys book that call with me and then uh, one of our packages. I'll share all of the information. All right. I'm going to do. Some Q&A now as well. Sorry, I just saw that um, the audio was a little bit choppy. Justin, are you able to hear me OK? Um, so yeah, please feel free to leave some questions in the Q&A section now. I saw that John, you had just asked if I can walk through ARWA. Um, ARWA is actually not something that I cover um, in my segment of the business. I only cover the 3D modeling, so prioritize 3D and toggle um, 3D. But if you email me or I can email you after this call, I can send you the right direction or point you in the right direction of who can help you with that. Any other questions? I'll leave a couple minutes for you guys. Thank you, Justin. So if you guys look at the chat, um, Justin just dropped in a link here. So that is my calendar link. If you guys book a, a meeting with me, we can do one free 3D model for you guys if you purchase the project with moving forward. And I'd be happy to do one-on-one -on -one calls with all of you or anyone who's interested. We can do a more in-depth demo, show you examples that are more relevant to your business, the kind of product you're selling. Yes, so um, what is our present capacity for doing 3D models? Um, so right now, I think we can do about 10,000 3D models per month. Um, so it really, our capacity is very high. Uh, we can accommodate whatever you need, but right now I think we're trying to get 10,000 per month. 
And then a question from David, do we have a catalog of background AI images to choose from or how do we narrow down what we're looking for? That's a really great question, David. So we kind of have two options with that. Um, you would work with our design team on that. Uh, you can either provide us with the background image that you would like to use, or you can provide our team with creative brief. So if you just type out a quick note, let's say, for example, of that whiteboard dresser that I showed, you could type out a quick brief that would say, show this in a modern kitchen with white walls and wood floors with books on top of it or something like that. You can be specific or provide as little detail as you want. Um, and then we just put that into our AI and it generates an image, or you can use your own. Okay, uh, Manette, I will send you, I will send you an email after this. I just saw your request for some more information. John, for your trial on ARV, um, again, we'll be directed towards the team who's handling that. So um, I'll send you an email after this with information on the content. So we have another question about contract time. So how long does the typical contract run for? Um, is also completely up to you. So we have clients that do um, annual contracts, for example, that um, will say we're going to pay for X amount of 3D models throughout the year. Um, they can either pay for it all up front or we have different payment plans as well. Or if they want to do it on a per project basis, that's fine too. Um, so it really just depends on you and how many 3D models you have the budget for. Up and how many you're looking to do, but we can set it to be fulfilled over a couple months or over a year or everything. So that's something we can discuss uh, once we have a call and provide you with more information about your project. All right. Um, if there aren't any more questions, we are just at about uh, 30 minutes here. So I can stay on for a few minutes if anyone else wants to um, have a conversation or has any more questions to ask. Um, but yeah, that's it from my side. Like I said, I'll stay on to answer some more questions if needed. Um, but feel free to jump off and you guys will all receive the video recording and email after this. Like, Said, you guys will receive the full recording of the meeting, including the demo videos. And then feel free to reach out to me personally as well. I'm just going to share my page here. So you can reach out to me at maddie.weinsmont.ar. Um, we'll send all you this information as well. So you'll have that email. We'll send you my meeting link too. But just remember that if you book some time with me, um, well, we can do a free 3D model for you. I'm actually going to put my email in the chat. Second. So for John's question, um, for a long-term contract, 
do update an item. So with our contracts, all 3D models are hosted for free on our portal for 12 months. So um, if you need to update that before your 12 months free hosting is up, that's fine. The, the hosting period starts once the model is created for you. So you can update them anytime uh, if you have an update that's needed three months later or six months later, we can definitely do that. Yes, thank you, Tom. Uh, glad you enjoyed the presentation. All right, yeah, if you guys don't have any other uh, questions, feel free to hop off. Otherwise, like I said, I'll stay on for a few minutes and answer any other questions that come in. But thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, we'll be in touch shortly. Uh, Manap, I will contact you after this. All right, I think that's pretty much everyone. So I'm going to jump off now um, and we'll send you guys the email with the content. Thanks for joining everyone.